This is going to be hard to put in the frame. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Vori gaming backpack. You can get this for about $60 on Amazon. I'll throw a link up in the description. So here's the backpack. We're gonna take a look at it. So we have an official tag from Vori. First pocket has a nice ergonomic design and it folds out about halfway. So as you can see, you have a lot of room here for anything you want, like cables and stuff, or maybe non-gaming related items in here, if you would choose to do so. So that's the first box. Top of the backpack, we have this little glasses or quick access part. You have blue light glasses, you can put them in like this or something, and then you can put them in here, they'll fit perfectly. Same thing with the glasses, or you can even put a 6.7 inch phone in here and it'll just barely fit. This material is really nice. This is like a really good, nice backpack. This is gray. The zipper is really cool. It has black and red. On the back, you have a breathable mesh and the straps are also padded with the same mesh material. Look at the middle compartment practically like a book or anything. This could be used as a book bag or however you want. Uh, but as you can see, it fits this book really well. For reference, we're gonna do a normal. So as you can see, it's definitely really good size. You can definitely put like a 13 inch, 15 inch laptop in here for sure. And then in right here, if you put your laptop, you can put your um, charging cable and other things in here. And then look at the main compartment. It has an anti-theft design, which means this is right here is gonna be faced towards your back so no one could really tamper with it. So as you can see right here, you can put a console right in here. You can strap in your console, your PS4, your Nintendo Switch, your Xbox One, your PS4 Pro, your PS, PS4 Slim, your Xbox One X, your Xbox One. I'm not sure about the newer gen consoles, but it is for the current gen consoles. And then taking a look right here, we have room for controllers. You can perfectly fit controller in here and strap it down. PS4 controller on this side. These middle pockets are for Joy-Cons. So you can put Joy-Cons with the Joy-Con straps in there which is really cool and it fits nice and snug in here as well so it will not move around which is really cool. Right here would be the Nintendo Switch dock. Right here you can put like a power cable, more HDMI cables or whatever you want. Just cables right here, controllers up here, charging station up here or just cables in general. Or you can even put another Xbox controller or PS4 controller in there. Pack this thing with a ton of different accessories and get back to you. Now, I apologize for the very horrible lighting, but I packed this thing to the brim. It is pretty heavy, but we're going to show you what we have in here. So, in the first pocket, we have a 20 foot Type C to Type A cord. We also have a 20,000 milliamp power bank. So, that's in the first pocket. In the middle pocket, We have a, I think 11 inch uh, Chromebook. It's pretty small. This is my school computer, by the way. Everything in the middle compartment. On the top compartment, we have the uh, Samsung S20. This is a clone, by the way. Honestly, I probably could have put more stuff in here, but I didn't really know what to put. It's so first up, we have a gaming headset. This is the Triton Arc 100. This is a really big headset, so we have some physical games, in case you're one of those people that actually still uses discs. We have a Nintendo Switch Lite. This case, if you guys want it, it's this, by the same brand. This is the Vori Gaming Galaxy Nintendo Switch Lite case. I might make a separate video for it, but it's very protective. You have like eight card slots and a little compartment here and stuff. So it's really cool, hard shell. Also have the Xbox One S in here. Fits perfectly. 
an Xbox One S controller. These do have nice fabric on the inside of the pockets to keep anything from getting scratched. I have a PS4 DualShock controller. So definitely a lot of stuff in here. I think that's everything. Yeah, you can definitely fit a lot of stuff. Practically packed everything I normally would and I didn't include most of the cables because I actually removed it from my setup just to make the video. It definitely packs a lot for the money. 60 bucks and you get to be able to pack a PS4 Pro, an Xbox One S, uh, Xbox One original, anything you have gaming related you can put in there. Of course it is mainly designed for the Nintendo Switch. That's why they have the Joy-Cons and other stuff. But yeah, I was able to put in a Xbox One S, Nintendo Switch Lite, a Trident Arc 100, which is one of the biggest headsets in the gaming market, two controllers, a PS4 Pro, a PS4 DualShock controller and an Xbox One S controller, three digital games for the Xbox One, a 20 foot cord, a 20,000 milliamp power bank, 0.7 inch phone, and that's pretty much it. But I was also, I could also fit the cables for the Xbox One if I wanted to. It's just easy. It's only an HDMI and a power cord, so it's really easy. But anyways, 60 bucks, definitely worth it. This gaming backpack is definitely worth it. It has nice, nice materials here. Very nice materials, very nice backpack overall. I'm definitely be using this whenever I go traveling eventually in the future. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Link is in the description to buy.